Yo, today on Passport Kings, we're going over the places that probably should not be visited right now. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. All right, so number one is the Galapagos Islands. You know, Ecuador, they heavily regulate uh, tourism there, and that's to protect the ecosystem, which remains very vulnerable. These islands were made famous by Charles Darwin's classification work, The Origin of Species. Overnight stays are often limited to only three nights. Number two, Venice, Italy, and Amsterdam, the Netherlands. These two here also make the list of the places you don't want to visit in 2018. A lot of tourists have crowded these cities and rankled the locals. And a backlash against tourism has risen in these destinations. It is recommended that right now, we just give them some space. All right, so number three is the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was completed in 1643 as a tomb for the Shah's wife who died giving birth. And it is known as one of the seven wonders of the world. But 369 years later, in 2018, the Taj Mahal is undergoing its first cleaning. And right now it has a lot of mud, paste, and scaffolds all over the place. A lot of people these days are recommending that you just wait to 2019 if you want to go see the Taj Mahal. Even if, like myself, you are a modern day Maharaja. Number four is Feng Gai Park, Thailand. I know I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> In a search for new experiences, a rush to this paradise has just overwhelmed Thailand. The beaches are suffering from pollution and overuse. As Thailand institutes recovery initiatives for its new tourism boom, it's suggested that you pick another tropical getaway from now. Number five, Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. Myanmar is home to bustling markets, numerous parks and lakes, and home to Buddhist relics dating back to 6th century BC. A few years ago, it opened its borders to tourism after many years of isolation. But a civil war has broken out, and the United Nations, they've labeled this government's violent campaign against the Rohingya minority a textbook version of ethnic cleansing. I know somewhere else they can go find some ethnic cleansing too. But anyway, this episode is brought to you by what used to be called travel hacking, but is correctly named award stacking. Save thousands of dollars on flights while rapidly improving your credit. Personally, this system has changed my travel life. Right now, the system is over 50% off. Click the link above and start traveling nonstop for so much less. All right, number six is Mount Everest. Because of the steep price it takes to climb here and the inherent danger from climbing it, right now, it just isn't worth it. Stay on the ground instead of climbing up Mount Everest for right now. Number seven is Missouri. All right, so this state is on the list because of its reports of African-Americans being stopped unjustly by white law enforcement. Some people say black people are just complaining needlessly. Even the NAACP said stay away from Missouri for right now. There are numerous incidents and policies of the government that points to various types of discrimination. All right, so number eight is Honduras. Still among the deadliest places on earth, even though its crime rate has dropped recently, rampant crime and poverty have driven many in the thousands to seek asylum in the U.S. in so-called caravans. So it's highly recommended that if you go into South America, that you spend your time safely in another country. Number nine of the places that are not worth visiting right now is the Great Wall of China and Beijing. The deterioration of the Great Wall and the unchecked pollution in China's capital are the reasons to stay far, far away from these destinations right now. Hopefully they clean that up so we can get back to Beijing. And of course, number 10 is, you ready for it? Cuba. <laughs> U.S. citizens are right now still allowed to visit Cuba, but the new regulations from the Trump administration are complicated, and U.S. embassy workers have recently been stricken with a mysterious illness. So, Passport Kings, we recommend that you stay away from that spot as of right now. So, if you're going to be visiting somewhere fly this year, make sure it's actually still fly, and go there like a king of Passport Kings. Peace!